Yo, what's going on guys, it's Crypto TMT and I'm back with a brand new video. Hope you guys have had a great Christmas and looking forward to the new year. This was my first um, proper competition race um, on the competition server on the set of Corsa. And um, yeah, uh, it was a struggle. Nighttime race, Nürburgring. I didn't really have a setup for the car, I just sort of jumped on. Decided to do one of the races. I've done a couple before, but I haven't really actually checked out how the rules actually work. And I believe in this server, was well, a 45 minute race. Um, mandatory pit stop which you have to change tires and no refueling i'm not sure what no refueling means does it mean you can't fill your car halfway up and then pit halfway through the race and add more fuel i'm not too sure but i just started the race with the, with the maximum amount of fuel i needed for the race and um i was still indecisive whether i was going to change tires or not because at this time i didn't actually know whether i had to change tires or not so um I was kind of in two minds, not too sure what to do. I didn't want to end up going to the pits and changing tires while everybody else just does a splash and dash and I left like 30 seconds behind. So I was sort of waiting for other people to pit to see what they were doing. Um, and then I would sort of make my decision. But yeah, it was a pretty fun race. Um, Nürburgring at night. I'm not the biggest fan of racing at night because I just can't really see a damn thing. But um, yeah, trying to get to know the Porsche a little bit better. I don't drive the car too much. So um, I wanted to get in it and really get a... Um, bit of a feel for it but anyway i hope you guys have had a great christmas and yeah i'm looking forward to the new year crypto tmg peace We actually managed a decent start. I was hoping just not to lose any positions. That's the most important thing. And now we try and knuckle down, get our head down, try not to make any mistakes, just stay on the back of the lead pack and try and make some moves, especially more towards the pit stops where you know um, people are going to be jostling for a little bit of position. And that's the time where you can sort of make your own strategy work. So it's very important I stay close to the leaders and see what I can do. managed to break away from the guy behind us who was putting us under a little bit of pressure um, just making me keep a little eye on my mirrors just to make sure he didn't try anything um, but I feel like the guy ahead is starting to struggle just a little bit starting to struggle to keep up with the guys ahead and um, if the gap gets any bigger I'm definitely gonna have to make a move at the moment I'm content 
But um, if the gap does begin to grow, then I'm going to have to pass him because he does seem like he's just dropping pace a little bit. So um, hopefully he can keep up. And if not, we're going to have to try and chuck an overtake somewhere around this track. Even though he seems to be quick in all the right places, even though I definitely feel like I've got the pace limit at the moment, but um, hopefully we can find a way past. There's so much later on the brakes at turn one. That's definitely one of the places where I think I'm eyeing him up a little bit. You can see the gaps just growing and growing ahead. He's beginning to drop back and I think he's, he's losing pace. Um, I'm actually confident I can keep pace with the guys ahead, but he seems to be losing pace. Um, so we're gonna have to find a way past. Turn one does seem to be at the moment, probably where the biggest chance is gonna lie as he just seems to be struggling massively on the brakes, but I'm gonna have to stay close for the last corner and it's pretty tricky to stay close for that chicane at the end because it is so fast and when the car is right in front of you it's blind and it's, it is a chicane that you don't want to get wrong because it will put you in the wall so hopefully I can stay close through there and try and make my move into turn one if not I'm going to have to find somewhere else maybe into here because the braking again here is pretty damn late so um, yeah let's see what we can do
bit of a controlled dive bomb there, but he saw us coming and I, I, I just knew that he'd be early on the break, so I knew I could take a chance as whether I could get it stopped on the apex or not. Kind of hooked the wheels on the curb a little bit and then went down to first gear just to make sure we actually got it stopped. And once I had the inside line, I knew it would be pretty hard for him to hold us. Um, so yeah, good overtake. Hopefully now we can push on and catch the guys ahead. Pit stops will be coming up anytime soon. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to close that gap, which is around about four seconds. So let's see what we can do. Pit stop window now open, so I'm going to have to push on now. I'm slightly closing the gap a few temps quicker per lap. Um, I'm going to have to do more than that to catch them up at the moment. But I'm just hoping, hoping that um, I have a good pit in lap, a good pit out, and I can really start closing the gap. Because at the moment, it's a bit of a stalemate. I'm closing the gap a little bit, but not enough. But this lap, they seem to be struggling quite a lot. They've already lost quite a lot of time. Um, probably about six temps already on this lap, so... I've managed to gain quite a lot on this lap itself. Um, I'm up on my fastest time and I'm pushing on. I did feel like I had the pace to keep up, but I was just stuck behind the guy behind who's just beginning to fall off the back of me as well now. Um, not too sure what his issue is. But I know when, for me, when I drive the Audi, I just uh, I struggle quite a lot to get the car slowed down. And um, it seems that he's um, dealing with the same sort of issues at the moment. But yeah, you can see the Bentley ahead, a little bit wide at the hairpin and they seem to be falling off as well, I'm not too sure why, but that whole gaggle of cars ahead seems to be coming back to me quite a lot on this lap in particular, I'm not too sure why, but um, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to be changing tyres now, so um, yeah, we all get a fresh set of tyres, and um, hopefully hopefully, I'm, I'm not wrong and I don't end up changing tyres and being the only one, because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to end up 30 seconds behind for no reason, but um, we're going to keep pushing on, I'm not going to pitch straight away because I kind of I kind of want the guys behind to pit. I don't want to get stuck behind any slower cars and then we'll be in trouble. So um, yeah, hopefully we can keep up and let's see if anyone makes a mistake in the pit window and sort of gives us a chance to jump up the grid a bit. So I went to the pits then with the guys ahead and honestly right now you will see in a second I just start I just start contemplating what to do. I don't know whether to put the change tires on, don't know whether to take them off, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment and yeah this this just wasn't the best. I, I definitely caused myself a bit of a an issue in the pit lane. I start losing time. Um, I wasn't too sure. You see me like switching, I don't know what to do. 
I, I overshoot my pit lane just a little bit and um, yeah I, I end up sticking with the changing tires but lost a little bit of time in the pits just because I overshot the pits and um, I end up changing camera and all sorts of craziness so um, yeah uh, then I see I see in the chat someone saying how their pit stop didn't count and in my head I'm thinking oh, wow that's, that's got to be because you didn't change tires how lucky am I how lucky am I that I decided to just stick with it make sure I change tires and um, yeah it's a nightmare if I didn't because my pit stop wouldn't have counted and yeah I just would have been pretty much racing for no reason but um, the pit stop's done um, and we're away the guy in the Bentley has actually jumped the guy who was leading the race now this guy ahead of me Lopez he was the one actually leading the race so he's had a pretty poor pit stop as well and um, he's been jumped by the guy in the Bentley so now I'm sort of net in third place I believe because the guy who's leading is actually going to get disqualified because he didn't actually change tyres and you can see I think we come out behind a we come out behind someone here and it's imperative that we sort of just make an overtake straight away no messing around we sort of just need to we need to sort of get past and make sure we don't get held up behind anybody um, and yeah making sure we stay on the back of this guy who was leading the race Lopez and um, yeah I wasn't too sure what his pace would be because obviously he was leading before so he was one of the, the quicker guys but I felt like just before the pit stop I was really closing down on all the leaders so um, I was confident I could stick with it and um, yeah at this point in time out of the pits definitely felt like I had a sort of a quicker car at the moment um, he seemed to be struggling a little bit and yeah the car to me felt pretty nice see he overshoots um, the hairpin there manages to get it back but um, we still flying try to make the overtake he almost squeezes us out but we just back out a little bit but yeah let's see if we can um, catch up and see what we can do about the guy in the Bentley ahead
For some reason Levis who was driving the Bentley has just gone completely off at turn one. I'm not too sure if he, he braked too late or what but he was leading the race and uh, yeah he's just gone straight off on turn one so now this is a this battle is actually for the lead technically speaking as the guy in the lead is as I said his pit stop hasn't carried so he's going to be disqualified and uh, yeah this is a this is going to be a tense battle all the way to the end because at the moment I feel like I've got the pace but um, I'm going to have to stay consistent, stay right underneath his rear wing and choose the right time to attack. Um, for some reason, after the pit stop, he's been missing a lot of apexes. He's taken like a really wide line, sort of unorthodox out of the corners. And I wouldn't like, it's, it's definitely a little bit slower, but he, he's managing to get a, a good run um, out of the corners because he's going a bit deep. But he's not hitting too many apexes, which is a little bit weird. But um, yeah, we're just going to have to sort of try and put him under a bit of pressure. And if we get that chance to overtake, we're going to have to try and take it.
Orny's gone way too deep. And we've managed to take the lead. And it's, sometimes it's all about the just the constant being on the back of someone. The constant pressure sometimes makes people make mistakes. And hopefully now I can push on and try and get away. Um, he did seem to be struggling just a little bit um, through some of the corners. And he had actually gone wide in that corner before. I wasn't able to take advantage. But that time he, he properly went off. But he's still quite close to us. And the Aston Martin being pretty good around the, the faster corner. So it's not going to be easy to get away. Um, we're going to have to focus and make sure... I don't make any mistakes and see if I can keep the lead because he was quick enough to, to obviously he got pole position as well so he was quick enough to do that so he's going to be pretty quick see how much he closes up on us on the brakes I was like wow that's crazy because the uh, the Porsche is pretty good in the brakes as well but he really manages to close up quite a lot in the braking and um, yeah you see we actually get a decent run out of the corner the Porsche pretty good out of the corners um, and actually, obviously, I changed my engine map into 8, which is sort of the quality mode. But um, it hasn't really made that much difference. And you can see he's gone for an audacious dive bomb and pretty much had to just stand on the brakes. Because if I turned in there, he definitely would have killed me. Let's see if I can squeeze him towards the apex. And uh, just run a little bit wide and let him back through. And the back end steps out, which gives him a nice run. Again, that'll break herself. Brakes beginning to lock up a little bit. Just can't keep the car... Um, towards the inside he manages to get us back so now we're gonna have to do all that all over again um, in hindsight I could have turned in but I know we would have just ended up in a crash and yeah that's not what anyone wanted even though I felt like the move was a little bit was a little bit reckless I sort of had to I had to I had to make sure I didn't turn in because otherwise we were just both dead so um, yeah, hopefully I can stick with him and get another chance to overtake. It's going to be one more lap after this one, and let's see what we can do at the end of the race. So about to come across the line in what was a net second place. The guy who actually won the race is he got disqualified because he didn't actually change tyres at his pit stop. So.
you can see when I pitted, I had that sort of not really knowing what to do. I'm sort of debating whether to change tyres, not change tyres, just before I went to the pit stop. And it actually cost me a little bit of time. And at the end there, you saw almost got the win, which would have been the net first place. But Lopez sent an audacious dive bomb down the inside. And to be quite honest with you, I could have turned in and just let us have the crash. But I just wanted to finish the race in the end. He ended up getting me. So, um, yeah, it was a good race, though. Had had a lot of fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's Crypto TNG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.